today we will discuss about transcription transcription is the process in which an rna copy of the dna sequence encoding the gene is produced with the help of an enzyme called rna polymerase only one of the two strand of the dna are transcribed this strain is called template strain or the antisense strain and the opposite strain is called coding strain or the sense strain the rna polymerase enzyme synthesizes rna from 5 prime to the 3 prime direction and in prokaryote there is only one type of rna polymerase enzyme which is responsible for the synthesis of all three types of rna messenger rna transfer rna and ribosomal rna but in case of eukaryote there are three types of rna polymerase enzymes rna polymerase 1 is involved in the synthesis of ribosomal rna and rna polymerase 2 enzyme is involved in the synthesis of messenger rna and rna polymerase 3 enzyme is involved in the synthesis of transfer rna so in transcription there are three main steps initiation elongation and termination first we will discuss initiation transcription always start at the rna polymerase binding site called promoter on the dna template strain in prokaryote within the promoter there are two binding sites are present called tt gaca also called minus 35 sequence and ta ta at sequence that is also called minus 10 sequence which have the affinity for the rna polymerase but in case of eukaryote these sites are at minus 75 and minus 25 sites. So the binding of RNA polymerase enzyme at the promoter is the first step in gene transcription. So one of the two subunits of RNA polymerase have sigma factor. Sigma factor is very important for the correct initiation of transcription so rna polymerase bind to the promoter and start to unwind the dna strand next is elongation so once the transcription has started the sigma factor of rna polymerase enzyme is released and the remaining part of the enzyme is called core enzyme which moves along the template strain and it completes the process of transcription of the gene. So the DNA strand open up at the place where the enzyme is attached and it start forming the transcription bubble. So the transcription bubble moves down the DNA leaving the growing strand protruding from the bubble so the rna polymerase moves along the dna template strand from 5 prime to 3 prime direction and they produces the rna transcript by adding nucleotides to the 3 prime end of the growing rna next top sequences that are present at the end of the gene they terminate the synthesis of messenger rna when RNA polymerase enzyme reaches the termination site, the RNA transcript is set free from the template. The RNA has the same base sequence as the DNA coding strand, but in RNA there is uracil instead of thymine. Here you can see the simplest stop signal is a series of GC base pair that followed by series of AT base pair and the RNA form in this region forms a GC hairpin followed by four or more U ribonucleotide and this hairpin causes RNA polymerase to stop the synthesis of RNA. Now let's see what are the post-transcriptional 
processing. In bacteria, the newly synthesized messenger RNA is directly released into the cytoplasm when it converted into polypeptide chain. But in case of eukaryote, the messenger RNA has to travel long distance from inside the nucleus to ribosome outside the cytoplasm. So the eukaryotic messenger RNA is therefore modified in several ways. So first is messenger RNA splicing. In messenger RNA splicing, the introns are removed and the axons are joined together and they form the supplies messenger RNA. The introns are the non-coding region while the axons are the coding region. And a 5' prime cap and a 3' prime polyether is also added so that the messenger RNA molecule remains stable. This cap and tail save the messenger RNA from a variety of nucleases and phosphatases. So it's all about RNA synthesis.